Hey guys, I'm back. Today I'm coming at you with some things that I personally have used to get myself back up out of my funk. And while I talk about those, I'm gonna draw on my shoes. So have fun watching me draw on my shoes. So I got a list of 10 things here. I'm gonna start with the first thing, the number one most important thing is meditate. You have to meditate so that you can process everything that's going on around you and in your head. And if there's things that are like negative, you can process those and understand why they're happening. Or if there's things that are positive, you can make them even more positive. The next thing is to spend time with family because that reminds me personally like who I am and where I come from and you know my family they gave me away but I just went and created a new family of people that I love and people that love me and people that remind me who I am and where I came from. So there, that's my family. I made them, they love me and I love them. I think everyone knows this third one which is organize your space so that you can think clearly. Next one is something I actually had to learn is to like clean my face <laughs> every day, like twice a day, and then also like care about myself to put lotion on my face and put lotion on my body and you know do the teeth whitening and do these things that like take care of myself, take care of my skin, do those things, go the extra mile for myself because I'm worth it and it really feels good. I'm kind of rushing through these because I just don't know if I'm going to have enough time. The fifth one is stretching every day and working out or at least doing something because my body is becoming a lump and the biggest thing for me was to heal my back and I really wanted my back to be strengthened and get better and so I'm just making sure to actually work out, do something healthy every day and make sure to stretch every single day because it feels nice. I don't know if you're noticing the theme of things feeling nice, so I love massagers, special pillows, and fluffy blankets because they feel great. Let's keep that motto going with clothes that are comfy and make me feel good as well as feeling sexy. I also love picking up old hobbies that I know I love like art and going to Schlitterbahn in the summertime. I love Schlitterbahn. Then another one is gardening because it gets you really close to nature and then it has you like taking care of something that's alive but like if it dies it's not like the end of the world. But please don't go killing plants guys. Then the last thing is taking care of other people because it gets you out of your head and it makes you realize that your problems are your own problems and everybody's got problems. The world is really just one big problem and we can all help each other out and other people are going to help you. You can help them. Just get out of your own head. Stop thinking about your own problems. You know, there's a whole world out there. <laughs> Go live life. Love you guys. I hope this was helpful. Um, sorry I had to kind of speed through it, but um, it was kind of a short video. So, yeah, love you guys. And I hope that you'll have fun watching me decorate my shoes. I got these shoes and just specifically so I could decorate them and draw on them. So, <laughs> yeah. Bye-bye.